Hi, this is Steve Button from the WebLogic Server Product Management Team. In this five minute screen cam, I'm gonna demonstrate the feature support uh, new in WebLogic Server 12C that enables us to deploy applications developed for GlassFish and have some of the GlassFish descriptor settings applied to the application automatically when it's deployed and running on WebLogic Server. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've built a very small web application inside NetBeams that is configured to be built at and run against GlassFish server. The application itself has a simple JSP page which uh, extracts a data source from a JNDI context. It opens a connection and displays some metadata about the underlying database that it's connected to. The data source is defined as a logical reference using a resource ref entry as shown here in the web.xml file. The application also contains the GlassFish web descriptor in which several settings are applied to the application. The first being the context route and the second being the mapping from the logical resource reference through to the actual JNDI name of the data source which will be furnished when this data source is looked up inside the application. There are also a number of JSP settings that are applied on the application. From within NetBeans, we can now choose to clean and build the application, and then we can choose to run it to see it deployed and be accessible on the configured GlassFish server. Once the application is deployed, a browser is launched, and I can go and uh, view the index page. In this case here, you can see that the context route mygf-app is being picked up and applied from the glassfish-web.xml descriptor. It's also showing the uh, connection that's provided through the data source and it's also showing the actual server home being used. Now we'll switch over to WebLogic Server 12C. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to use the console to clearly differentiate between deploying from NetBeans uh, to GlassFish and deploying to WebLogic Server. Logging into the console, we can first explore the environment from which we can see that there is an existing data source which connects to a Darby database which has a JNDI name of JDBC slash simple. If we now step through the deployment wizard, we can point the deployment wizard at the WAR file that has been built for this application and ask WebLogic Server to go ahead and deploy it. What we can see here now is the console showing the output from WebLogic Server. WebLogic Server will look at the WAR file, detect the presence of the GlassFish descriptor, parse it, extract the values that it knows to work with and apply them to the application when it is running on WebLogic Server. Here you can see a highlighted number of log entries that show the detection of the various GlassFish descriptor elements that WebLogic Server will recognise. If we now go back to the browser, we can change the URL simply by changing the port and we should see that the application is now accessible in exactly the same manner running on WebLogic Server. So here we have the identical application deployed to GlassFish and now deployed with the same settings to WebLogic Server. The context route is the same, the data source resource ref mapping has been applied in the same manner as well. As a final step of this demonstration, I'll go through and change one of the descriptor values and see how that can be picked up and used by WebLogic Server. In this case here we're going to change the context route to now have dash test 
as uh, an appendage to the context root value. So if we clean and build the application to produce the WAR file, we run it on Glassfish, you can now see that the application is using the modified context root. Moving back to WebLogic Server, updating the deployed application, we should now see that that same change is reflected on the WebLogic Server access page. The prior URL returns a 404, and if we now modify this to use the new URI, the application is accessible. So that just demonstrates that the values are updated. And there you have it, deployment of Glassfish developed applications directly to WebLogic Server with the use of settings from the Glassfish web descriptors.